Vika? Vika? What's the meaning of life for you? Try to enjoy it. We got the bronze medal in the International Mathematical Olympiad 2023. Let's go back to the beginning. The International Math Olympiad 2023 was held in Japan. It's like the Olympic Games, except the contestants are way smarter, less famous and way poorer. If you haven't seen my first video about IMO 2023, make sure to check it out. When I first started participating in the Olympiads, I thought my relationship status was complicated until I saw an IMO problem. Theodor Van Berg, four-time gold medalist and second in the Hall of Fame. Quite a nice guy, actually. First, I had to make sure it was really him, since he looked different from the guy in his Facebook photo. So I asked him to make the same face. Can you do the same face again? Which one? Oh, this one. Yeah. And it was him. Well, first thing, first advice is you need to love math. You need to find it interesting. Well, my main goal is to enjoy math. And if you're good enough, if you're smart enough, talented enough, and also work hard enough, through enjoyment and fun, and just you will, you will eventually reach uh, Olympiad level. So I, uh, I developed a significant advantage in math. Basically, at age four or five, I already knew what most seven, eight-year-olds knew. I do not have any preferred math book. I never really read a lot of math books. I, I, I read math books for fun, but not for IMO preparation. Uh, like the books, book on Galois here was probably the most beautiful math book I read, but uh, as I mean, it's all maybe proofs from the book by Erdas. That's a really nice book. But honestly, I did not find it that useful for IMO. No, for IMO, I'm mostly uh, prepared by simply solving problems, difficult problems for IMO. I, uh, from uh, Basically, the books I worked on were simply collections of problems, so solved problems. So the problems I could not solve, I was persistent, but if I could not solve them, I would read the, the solution, add the solution, the strategy, the approach to my memory, rinse and repeat until you know so many different approaches that you simply solve anything. Well, the longest time I worked on a disgusting problem was probably a couple of years, periodically just remembering that it exists and then return to it. Yeah, I really, really don't like looking at the solutions. I absolutely abhor it. I do not like, like looking at solutions. I do not like looking at solutions if I struggle with a problem. When I was 14 years old, I, uh, I competed against 17-year-olds. Uh, and I passed every single level until I ended up competing for the team selection test. It was the, the Serbian Mathematical Olympiad, which is the point is that's all high schoolers together. That means up to 19 year olds. And that's when I barely managed to enter the IMO team. I was the sixth. I mean, they were shocked that I managed to do it, but they definitely compared me to the seventh place. And like, okay, this 14 year old is actually good enough. He's better than this other guy. Okay, we're bringing him to Vietnam. IMO 2007. First IMO. Fun times. A, a good competitor, a quality competitor, always needs to have at least one, I, I like to call it uh, one unsolved problem in their uh, RAM memory, in their continuous memory. Like currently I have uh, one, two, maybe three problems that I do not know how to solve. If at any point you find yourself uh, not having a problem that you don't know a solution to and you're not uh, thinking occasionally about it, Find one. Back to the competition. IMO is always a good-natured event. Sure, people want to win, but ultimately, it's math that is the winner. Mm. Maths and China. Hello, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. There will be a third part about IMO 2023 in which I share my interview with China's debut leader in which I try to dig for their secret. Make sure to like and subscribe and see you on the next one. Goodbye.